We're back. We're always investigating here at CBS Chicago, and we wanted to know when exactly these 17 year cicadas are going to start buzzing about. And we knew just the guy for the job. Here's meteorologist Ed Curran. Most people come to the Chicago Botanic Garden to see what's growing above ground. But for our cicada watch, we had to dig a little deeper. I'm actually finding that they're starting to prepare their emergence holes. We're finding mud caps and some holes coming to the surface. And they're just really prepping, getting ready to come out. They're not emerging yet, but some of them are, are preparing their holes. And it's kind of neat to see. The mud caps are easy to spot, and they indicate cicadas are on the way up. But the mud cap is really when they dig their little hole up upward. They are kind of pushing the soil upward as they emerge and then if the soil is a little bit wet as they kind of push out you, they'll push the mud around the side and they really don't want to emerge so they're going to actually leave a little dome on top and a lot of times you'll just you'll just see a dome or a little protrusion and you knock it off you'll see their hole. It's all about how warm the soil is down below. When soil temperatures reach about 64 degrees at 8 inches they will be very synchronized in their emergence. And right now soil temps are uh, just in the very low 50s and as soon as we warm up a bit uh, they'll be ready to to emerge so when we get near that point we'll probably with the first rain and then the first sunny day we'll have emergence uh, in, in, in certain areas over a couple days. We removed just a few inches of soil to meet our 17 years cicadas. You can already see the redness starting on their eyes and that's one of the really distinctive things are the red eyes because our normal dog day cicada later in the year does not have the red eyes. And right now this is a, a young nymph who's getting ready to emerge and shed the exoskeleton. We put the cicada nymphs back down and they were all too happy to head back home underground, waiting for a warmer day and a warmer welcome. At the Chicago Botanic Garden in Glencoe, Ed Curran, CBS2 News.